Hello everybody and welcome to the wondrous worlds of game development. I'm your host Ryan Meowers and today will be the first update of my third person shooter game. So while it is a update, it will also be a quick tutorial where I briefly explain everything I did. So if you have an intermediate understanding of Unity, then you'll be able to replicate and learn a thing or two from what I did. So right off the bat, this character you see in front of you, I modeled in Blender, and I also did all the animations. This is my first time animating a character, and I thought I did pretty well. While it was frustrating because I didn't make an IK rig, I thought it would be quicker if I didn't. It was a mistake. In the future, I will. So you have all eight directions. Diagonal, down, right, backwards, forwards, strafing. You also have the idle animation. And here I'm utilizing the third person camera from um, the Mechanim Unity tutorial, which is in my uh, previous videos I talk about a lot. So I can zoom in, zoom out. I have the fire animation and the reload animation. So the upper body is using a different light layer that's on additive from the bottom. So if you, if you can see, when I reload and fire while moving, it um, adds the reload animation to the already moving arms. So it looks really dy dynamic. So I use um, additive instead of override. So let me just quickly go through what I did here. Actually, I also have a sprint animation, which I didn't finish because I was getting frustrated. So it looks really bad but it's just for a placeholder for now. So my base layer is the locomotion, all the locomotion transitioning to the sprint. So this looks pretty complicated here, but this is using the 2D simple directional blending. I'll post a link in the description to the Unity docs where it explains these types of blending types. So, but basically, what this 2D um, blending allows me to do is I can move this red dot around to all these different animations and it transitions them um, along uh, two different axes. So, I have the directional and the speed. And as I move this around, you see middle is idle, forward, backwards, bottom right, bottom left and it all blends quite nicely. So if you look at the docs, you, um, everything's self-explanatory from there, so I'm not going to go through this anymore. And here I have the upper body. It uses the arms only mask that I made, but it's more than just arms only. Since it's additive, I also added the spine and the head, because my fire and reload animation does move the spine and the head just a little bit, so I might as well keep it in there. So the default state is empty, and the reason why it's empty is because it's uh, additive, so it's just not adding anything. And it transitions into fire, then you can go into reload at any time, but you can't go backwards from reload to fire. Um, this is just a safety net, so you don't fire while you're reloading. And getting to reload is just a reload to true, and then exit time. I'm not sure, exactly sure what this value is. I think it's just what time it starts uh, transition backwards. I'm just guessing on that one though. So what else, what else? Uh, oh yeah, the crosshair. So uh, I did some unique things with the crosshair. It's completely in the 3D environment. Um, that's just easy. It's actually easier than always keeping it static on the screen. Um, I used a Raycast tutorial to figure it out, link in the description of that. So basically what it does is it shoots a 20 unit long Raycast. If it hits something, then it moves the crosshair object to where it hits. So as you see, as I um, go up against the wall, it hits it. Why is it fidgety? I don't know. There are a little bit bugs going on around with it. Um, so it hits the wall, moves the crosshair to there, but if it doesn't hit anything, 
then the crosshair stays 20 units away. So that's just so it doesn't move all the way, fly all the way in the distance. So as you can imagine, you can creep around corners in the future, then pop out and shoot, so you actually know where you're aiming at all times. So I'll show you the script, third person crosshair script, and once again I'll put the link in the description of how I figured this out. So this has uh, just two transforms, the crosshair and the endpoint. The endpoint is just 20 units away from the gun. So it shoots the raycast 20. If it hits something, then it makes the crosshair position equal to the hit point. And if it doesn't hit something, if it's else, then it changes the crosshair position to the endpoint position. So I think that's everything for now. I'll just run around and just show you the animations a little bit more while I talk around about... Oh, I also have the muzzle flash, which is a work in progress, of course. So in future updates, I'm going to include aiming on the y-axis, aiming up and down. So that would be a little bit complicated because you have to bend the character along his uh, deform bones there. And also in the future I'm going to convert this character controller into a Rain AI agent. Which I don't think will be that difficult. And it will be similar to my uh, previous tutorials with Rain and DM Mechanim. So I think you guys should stay tuned to that. So this is going to be a continuing series all the way up into the completion of the game so if you want to be notified when new video is up then you should subscribe so if not then you know just do your thing I don't I don't know what I was going with there alright so I'll see you guys later in future tutorial slash update videos